This is Twit. So this is an Android launcher which replaces your phone's pre-installed one or the one you've been using recently. Um, and I've been enjoying using this on some devices, particularly on my BlackBerry and the Huawei View 10. So it's fairly straightforward. You have an app drawer. It's very customizable in terms of themes and colors. What I like about it is that before the app drawer, you have uh, a little swipe up from the from the dock at the bottom, which will give you more than just your 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 dock. It will give you a few shortcuts to frequently used apps and to some other little services. So it's a an extra toggle option for quick settings, as well as to uh, to more apps in the dock, and you can access that from any home screen. And then the app drawer is nicely organized. You can uh, decide how big or small the icons are, how they're sorted. It's just a generally pleasant launcher to use. And one of the standout features to me is also the fact that it uses Bing wallpapers. Microsoft with Bing, uh, their search engine on desktop, are very good at choosing some beautiful photography for uh, their desktop backgrounds. And you get to ch get, get similar images or the same images through the Bing wallpaper picker for this uh, for this uh, launcher, and you get to uh, also to if you want to refresh your your desktop background, there's just a quick button. Uh, I believe it's the colored one there, which will automatically refresh it to another Bing wallpaper image. So once I do, once with the Honor View 10, I do manage to get into this uh, full-time job of desktop and wallpaper uh, photographer. Hopefully, you'll <laughs> see my images in there as well. <laughs> so it's very functional, very lightweight. Uh, I've used this launcher on some of the less powerful MediaTek-powered devices uh, from China, and it's a very good replacement to those slightly less functional launchers that come with it. Uh, obviously, it's a Microsoft pro product. The tie-in to Microsoft accounts is very strong. So if you log in with a Hotmail or a Live account uh, you or Outlook account, you will then also get uh, slightly richer notifications. It will link out to either Chrome or Microsoft Edge for Bing search. Uh, if you prefer not to use Bing as your search engine, uh, you can also change that as well. Whether you choose to go with Yahoo, Baidu, or, or Google, it's up to you. But I, I have to say, I've been enjoying using this, and when it came to this week to choose an app for the arena, I thought it, was, it would be good to give them some recognition because it, I find it a, a good launcher. Nice. So it's free in the Google Play Store. Uh, some say this may be the gateway to, or uh, a mar product market test to see how it performs in, in the Android ecosystem and maybe is a uh, sign of things to come from Microsoft. They have a full office suite. They have a very good email client. They now have a launcher. Who knows? Maybe we'll see a Microsoft Android distribution at some point in the future. Yeah, you can really see where their head would be at if, uh, if that were the case. Uh, right on. Excellent. That's Microsoft Launcher. Uh, now I need to remove Microsoft Launcher because I have to get back to my other launcher because that's where my app is <laughs> installed into, I'm realizing. Well, I'll just go default home launcher, go OnePlus launcher, and here we are oh, back Android. home. Oh, Android. The joys of Android. I know. We're back home. All right. 